Hello everybody, so I wanted to talk about the rice diet today. I also have an announcement at the end of the video. My name is Ryan, this is High Carb Regenerator. Welcome to my channel. And I wanted to talk about uh, my experience with the rice diet. I did it for uh, most of last year. I did do a stint of uh, raw, only raw, raw vegan. Um, but other than that, it was by, been by and large either, you know, you call it the starch solution or it's more the rice diet. And it has, it has been really good. So I lost about 25, 30 pounds last year. And I wanted to talk about that. Some of the cons, you know, and some of the positives or whatever. So the one thing that you're going to notice is the first thing is, is it kind of, you do the same thing every day, which can be good and, and the negative to some people. So I didn't do the hundred percent of the rice diet. The rice diet is fruit, fruit juice, sugar, and rice. Okay, I didn't do that 100%. I would add in potatoes here and there, pasta here and there. That's about it. And bread once in a while, very, very infrequently. And the amount of sodium he prescribed, I think was like 100 milligrams a day. That is a very dangerous level. So I didn't do that as well. But other than that, I did it all year, minus the stint with Raw Vegan. And it really is amazing because it's just so easy. You know what you're going to eat. You have time to do things in, uh, the rest of the day. There is no, what am I going to be eating today? Now, another thing that he does not include in the rice diet is vegetables. That is another thing that I did add in. Now, I don't go crazy with the vegetables. It's certainly not a 50-50 plate. This is about 90% carbohydrate diet, somewhere in there, 85 to 90% carbohydrate. Now, I didn't have any overt fats. I didn't have any overt proteins. It's just whatever happened to be in there. There is protein and fat even in a potato or a rice. Uh, you know, it's going to be in there or a banana, whatever. There's all the macronutrients are in a good macronutrient range in all natural foods that are vegetables and fruit, okay, and grains. So that is the bulk of the diet. I didn't have any oatmeal last year. I didn't have any and anything really else. I didn't have any quinoa, I you know, corn once in a while, but by and large it was Rice, 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 rice. And with a rice diet though, its greatest acid is also its greatest weakness because the greatest part about it is how simple it is. You literally just put rice in a rice cooker. If you're not cooking it with a rice cooker, you need to get one and get a good one. Don't waste your money. Um, I have one linked down below. Uh, it's the one I use. But it's also its weakness too because the simplicity kind of gets annoying. With the actual rice diet, you uh, you don't have vegetables or anything. It's just rice, sugar, and fruit, and that's it. And I think he started a day off with fruit juice, which you can also do. But I, I did a variation of that. So I added in uh, vegetables and actually potatoes sometimes too, <clears throat> because like the original rice diet was for People were having heart issues and clogged arteries and, and all that. If you're not running into that, um, you can kind of have a variation of it. But just make sure that you get your blood test done first to know where you're at and where you're going. But I did lose a good amount of weight on it, so I highly recommend it. It's just know that it's boring. <laughs> Like uh, Kempner used to say, it's more fun to talk about than actually do, and he's right. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is just because he didn't add in vegetables does not mean that you can't add in vegetables. Just because he did not have potatoes in it doesn't mean you have to not have potatoes. I kind of merged the Rotel 4 with Star Solution and kind of came up with my own version of the rice diet, but the rice diet in and of itself, if you just did the rice diet is amazing. It's very simple. And it's a, again, a no brainer. I wanted to add that um, in the original rice diet, he had a very, very, very low level of sodium. That's dangerous level. Um, don't follow that unless you're actually being watched or monitored by a doctor who's doing blood tests fairly often. Um, I think I get away with like one and a half grams of salt a day, if not less. But, you know, it, it makes so, uh, 
rice go down easier when you have salt. That's why the Asians do it so much. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that short that I did with the yakisoba, but I think it's one gram of salt per two tablespoons. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot. I had to put half a, a tablespoon in and dilute it because for me, that's just too much. I can't handle that. But some people really like salt. So I would really make sure that you do it to your taste. You got to enjoy what you're eating. And you really should add the sodium at the end of cooking because otherwise you're just going to keep adding it and it really adds up. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one thing I wanted to point out. I think it was like 150 grams a day or something, or 150 milligrams a day, which is very low. Your body actually can have issues running because sodium actually does have quite a few functions in your body. So definitely don't do that. Last thing about the rice diet that I wanted to talk about is the fact that your your bathroom habits are going to start being a lot more consistent if they were not consistent beforehand. And I actually added a lot more fruit in, I think, than uh, Kempner did. So I start up my day off with fruit every day, every day, whether it's a fruit juice or fruit, every breakfast or breaking the fast or whatever you want to call it i always did some kind of fruit whether that like i just said whether that was a juice most of the times it's a smoothie sometimes i just eat it if it's watermelon season i'll just start my day off with a watermelon and go from there now if you're gonna start your day off with a melon you have got have got have got to make sure that you give time in between eating a, a melon of any kind and anything else. It's kind of like the eat it alone or leave it alone type thing. Unless you have one of these guts that you can put anything in. Most of the time, food combination is a huge thing. And that's why I separate everything up. So it just depended on the season, how I started my day off, but it was always with fruit. And I do believe that at the regular rice diet, that is how he started it off as well. He does, like I said, I have the book. I forget what it is. Um, it doesn't break it down. I know there's other books out there that break it down. I haven't bought them. I haven't read them. It, it's a very simple thing. Now, another thing that he does in the rice diet, if you're looking to lose weight, he did put a lot of people on four to 800 calories a day. That's an extremely dangerous thing to do on your own. So don't do that either. I know I'm, not, I know I'm gonna get people in the comments section here talking about, well, you know, he only had people on 400 calories a day. And that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's probably why he had his, has, have to have his people walking like, I don't know what is in my eye, eight to 15 miles a day or something like that, because it, their, their, their metabolism would die otherwise. It's ridiculous. So don't do that. If you're in a clinical setting, maybe that's possible. I don't know. But another thing is if you go to like True North or something like that and do a water fast, they put you on the starch solution. They don't put you on raw vegan. So if you don't want to do the fruit, if you don't want to do the fruit juice, you don't have to. You can literally just do rice and sugar and be be merry. Now, if you're going to do that, I would add in vegetables. I would basically turn it into the Asian diet, not the rice diet. But by and large, I did do the rice diet. I did modify it. But I lost 25, 30 pounds last year, kept it off. This year, I'm, I'm imagining I'm going to get to my final weight at some point. I thought I would be there by, by this time, but it didn't happen. And that's another thing that I wanted to talk about. Don't force this. Don't force things, you know, like this light bulb here that's having low carb issues. It's, it's, it's flickering. I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> you know, it, just make sure that you get your carbs in. Make sure you get your health where it needs to be. And the weight loss will follow that. You know, you don't want to do the weight loss first and then all of a sudden you got all these health issues. You want to make sure all your health issues start healing and then the weight loss will follow. So make sure that that is the brunt of this. Even if you're on the rice diet, even if you're on the starch solution, even if you're on raw so four, the main thing that you got to look out for is make sure your health is where you want to go, where you're getting, not focusing on weight loss, because if you just shoehorn yourself into weight loss, you're eventually going to rebound because your body knows it and needs to heal. And it doesn't care what your beach body looks like at all, at all. It doesn't care. So 
keep that in mind. That's that's it. Would I do it again? Yeah. Well, am I going to probably do it all this year? Probably. Uh, would I do raw vegan again? Don't know. We'll see. Probably not. But that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Would I do it again? Yes. Should you try it? Yes. Should you do the version that McDo or not McDougal Kempner did? No, I don't think so because he he had everybody in clinical settings. He had people living at his house at this house in in uh, Durham, California or uh, Carolina, and he could monitor them. Four to eight hundred calories. That's a bit much. 100 milligrams of sodium, that's a bit much. So modify it to a standard that isn't dangerous for you. Eat at, you know, however much you want. That's another thing I forgot to mention. I ate however much I wanted to. And just make sure that you are not going hungry because that is when you run into trouble. The important part is the simplicity. I know it can also detract from it, but keep it simple. Even if you do add vegetables in, you don't have to make some three hour long dinner. You know, it takes you three hours to make. It's just, um, the more simple you, you make it, the, the better it's gonna get. And the more stuff you have around the house, the more likely are, you are to waste it. I know that's the case with me. So I just, you know, <clears throat> stock up on uh, starches and uh, fruit and whatever condiments, you know, condiments are, uh, vegetables basically I can find I do because they're getting more expensive and you really don't need too much of it if any to survive especially if you eat potatoes but this is about the rice diet so that really <laughs> it really doesn't matter what's that but as far as the rice you know just find the best rice that you like or that you can get a rice cooker and just run with it try it out for at least two weeks um if not a month and see how you do with it and come back to the video and let us know. All right. So the announcement that I've got is I finally got my group up. If you look down in the com or the uh, description section or the comments or what uh, the description section, I think it is, it's going to be there. There's a link to my Patreon. Um, it's in its very infant, infant stages right now. So if you do join, just know that I'm, this is a, a learning curve for me, 100%. I've got a couple videos on there. None of them, uh, I pulled uh, those videos actually from my YouTube channel. They're not uh, viewable on my YouTube channel anymore. They're only on my Patreon. And I'm going to start making videos just for Patreon. They're going to be a lot less edited. It's just going to be videos up there, informative videos. Once I get enough people on there, I'm going to start doing live Q&As just because so many people live all over the planet and it's really hard to uh, do timing on, on, you know, time of day. So the more people I have in there, obviously, <laughs> the easier it's going to be. And also... On there, I'm gonna to try to figure out how to put a forum so you guys can fit, you know tell me what you want and I can do that as well. So anyway, it is going to be live by the time this video goes up. Hopefully, you go look at it, join. It is in an, its infant stages right now, so it's not much to look at, but it will get there. And that's it. Uh, any comments, questions? Leave it down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.